we're here tonight at the gala premiere. It's a Canadian premiere of Kip Kim Boy. Now this film is an incredible film about a young African boy from Kenya who throws the world financial markets at their knees because he's a genius and develops an algorithm that actually helps defeat the stock market. So the film is amazing. We have all the cast and crew here. Our festival is starting out a little rainy, but we have 104 films for you over seven days and it, the fun just keeps happening. Uh, so this gala tonight, tomorrow night we have the Eastern Canadian premiere of The Great Salish Heist. And again, we have the full cast and crew here from Vancouver, Victoria, LA, all over Canada. So it's really exciting. Uh, we have performers. We have Adam Solomon performing tonight. We have Andrea Menard here as well. She's performing tomorrow night. And then Film.ca Cinemas all weekend long. We're screening over 80 films. Uh, in two theaters. Uh, so we're so excited. Uh, lots of documentaries. There's something for everyone. Feature films, short films, and lots of local talent represented, as well as lots of talent from across Canada and around the world. We've got filmmakers here from all over the world, including the US, uh, Germany, France, and also, uh, also all over Canada. So really thrilled uh, to be here. and. Um, I hope that works for you. It's an exciting night today because um, Kip Kimbo is finally showing on the big screen and he's showing at Oakfield Film Festival 2024. Kip Kimbo is a story of hope, it's a story of, of humanity, it, it tells a, a different side of the kind of stories you've heard about Africa. It, it tells the story of a young boy from a small village doing great stuff. I can finally help everybody. If this is how the rest of the world makes money, how can we even compete? I'm not even playing the same game. I got the script from the producers. When I read the script, it felt like I had to make this film. So I reached back and said, I want to do this. And from that moment till now, it's been a journey, an exciting journey, I would say. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the people feel tonight and how they take this beautiful walk that we've done. It's a beautiful film, I'll say. I love it, and I hope you love it too. How do we know that what you're doing inside that hut is not illegal? Exactly. It is the way people make money around the world. Yeah. Are you telling us that you can make money yet do nothing? I want to do nothing. My bag is finished and I did money. See? See, I save you. I'm connecting with financial markets around the world. Huh? Uh -oh. There are rooms with computers making trades 24 hours a day. Millions of trades per minute. There's no honor in such work. There's no honor in being poor. <laughs> but it's too good to be true. Yes, yes. yes. too good to be true. We are here at OFA. We are the gala premiere, uh, uh, the opening film here at this fabulous film festival. There's a movie called Kip Kim Boy. We made it in Kenya and Hamilton. Uh, and uh, this is about the Kenya we know, the Kenya that we were touched by, the people we met, and the relationships we made. It is uh, a beautiful film because Kenya is beautiful, and I had the great opportunity of producing this film with a fabulous cast and crew, both here and in Kenya. We brought together two cultures, and we really made something special. So we're super excited to show it to everybody. And, uh, you know, here it goes. Life is not always a straight line, my boy. When one door closes, another one opens. I think that you're a genius. Start thinking like one. Is it about making money? 
The money just proves that the math is correct. And it's legal? Totally legal. Just like the American dream. I'm Kip Kemboy from the movie. Um, I'm just here to talk a little bit about what that was like. It, uh, it's a story that contains values of strength, courage, and uh, endurance through hardship. And uh, all of these qualities are what make up the greater part of the story. It was a wonderful experience to shoot. I'm here with my family, my sister, my mom, and my grandmother, who is a uh, practicing psychologist. And, you know, she's definitely played a major role in, in helping me get to this point where, you know, I can, I can invest myself uh, with such a substantial degree of drive and commitment um, to this kind of a project. I can see it all so clearly. It's how the entire international monetary system works. Let me guess, the rich get richer. People have no idea that a man who owns nothing can make more money than a king. I... <laughs> what you've done, Kim? You? <laughs> hey. If this is how the rest of the world makes money, how can we even compete? Not even playing the same game. I can't help but think about my father. He works so hard. He grew food from the ground for us. His whole life he did not make one million shillings. What you have done is very important. Money is a weapon. Shouldn't be. Uh, but to tell you a little bit more about the film, um, this film takes place in Kenya, Nairobi, or sorry, in Kenya, in a small town in Eldama Ravine, uh, where there is a young boy who has a, a journey that he wants to set out on to have an impact in you know greater global economic uh, society, and he starts out with you know, the stock market and, you know, he has such a, a profound understanding, a profound, um, a, a profound inherent understanding of, of, of how to tackle, you know, such big problems and he finds a new and innovative strategy that helps him revolutionize the, the uh, stock market as a whole. It's like watching a flock of birds. So many factors could influence where the flock will go. The sun. The wind, the temperature, hunger, fear. It's like you can predict their behavior. Exactly. That's how the entire international monetary system works. That's how you make money? So much. I assumed that the markets were fair, but the more I looked, the more I realized the markets were biased. Let me guess. The rich get richer. So I incorporated that as a factor to my strategy. It's not the patterns I'm looking for, but variances of the pattern. Uh, I play this character and, you know, it, 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 it was quite an experience. I had to, you know, you know, invest myself inordinately beyond what I'm accustomed to when I take on a role, you know, it, it, it required me learn a, a new language, get a dialect coach, I mean, we were out in the trenches of, uh, of, of Kenya uh, to try and give you the most authentic and immersive experience um, according to what we could provide in the film. We need to get a story out in the press right away. Say he's a terrorist. Terrorist? I thought he was a genius. The world is not fair. And if they think you are spoiling their dinner, they will crush you. You're in serious trouble, boy. Give us the equation. The world is changing and no one can stop it. Not even you. I hope that you have a nice time seeing this and, and hearing about it. And, uh, you know, please join us as in this journey as we present it to you and happily welcome you to take alongside with us. We can make you extremely rich. I'm already rich. Hey, 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 hey,
We've got a boy to find. It's his stupid equation. They came for it. Must be quite the equation. Can make more money than you could ever imagine. And I play the role of Chip Church here in Kip Kim Boy. Um, for all the audiences who are going to be watching this movie, I just want to tell you a little bit about my character. Um, without giving too much away, I would say that she's determined, she's fiery, she's fiery. And one thing that I really learned from Chip Church here is just the power of truly supporting your friends, the power of investing in people, and seeing just the fruit that that can bear. One little act that she did completely changed the life of her friend and her family and her village forever. I found this at the market. A book? Yes. But this one is boring. Just the way you like it. It's about how mathematics took over Wall Street. Hmm? You can still dream. I'm a tipster. Wherever your dreams take you. Do you think I should have gone? I think that you're a genius. Start thinking like one. So whatever the case may be, wherever you are, never think that you're too small. Know that your life can make a huge difference. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the movie and uh, thank you. Maybe you should stop. Stop? I'm worried something bad is going to happen. I can feel it. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Kosuke said... Kosuke knows nothing. What happened? Mama, she told me to run. From who? Nyongeleshekem boy, talk to me. They started to fight. There was a Mzugu. It's about the equation, isn't it? They knew everything. Hey, but why did you run? They had guns. They were terrorizing us. You need to go to the police. Makuna Karao, they were with the police. Get rid of it. I can't. Just erase it. I worked too hard. He knew Azimu. It's not that simple. Just tell the police everything. You've done nothing wrong. Please. It's not fair. I play Colin Bentley, um, a kind of a mercenary character, uh, ex military who it represents uh, European colonial interests and um, is employed to catch Kipkin Boy. The tower. Jambo? Jambo, how you doing? I'm fine, very fine. Do you know whose tower that is? What do you want to know? We've traced an IP address to this location. There's some trading happening there that we've never seen before. Is that a problem? No, not at all, just the opposite. It's amazing. We represent one of the top hedge funds in America and we've never seen a black box trade like that, ever. I'm assuming the algorithm is from China, maybe Russia. It's mine. I wrote it. It's yours? Yes. <laughs> you wrote it yourself. This entire operation is just you. Yes, sir. It's, it's just me. Kipkin Boy has already been in uh, quite a few film festivals around the world. It's about to go to Japan. It's uh, about to go to Russia. It's going to be premiering in China. Uh, it's had a beautiful festival run around the uh, uh, festival run around the world. Uh, it seems to people really groove with the story. It, it's a very aspirational story about uh, the underdog coming through. 
So look for it wherever you are. This is what you were able to achieve from a madhouse. Imagine what's possible. giving, it opens doors for the community. And I think that's absolutely the message the movie brings. But to me, also, the, the thing that stands out the most about Kip Kamoy is there's such a joy that permeates the entire story and the entire on-screen presence. And I think you all as a team captured that so effectively. And it made us excited to see that there is not just hope, but there's purpose and there's, there's a likelihood that there is going to be this continued growth and prosperity and righteousness too. Um, over, uh, please, please, everyone here, join me in thanking uh, and giving you all your love to the cast and crew.